Mass evacuation from a popular tourist site. All non-residents are being told to leave parts of North Carolina's Outer Banks after construction crews severed three electrical cables that power the islands. As crews attempt to fix the problems, business owners are already feeling the crunch during the most critical time of the year. Here's ABC's Eva Pilgrim. Tonight, a busy vacation destination, now a ghost town. Two North Carolina towns on day three in the dark. Tourists told they can't stay, forced to go home. It's pretty disappointing. <laughs> I mean, we had another day left. We wanted to be on the beach. The governor forced to declare a state of emergency. Mandatory evacuations of all tourists turning some 50,000 people away. Local officials warning those that do not comply with the order to leave will be issued citations. The nightmare began Thursday in the Outer Banks. Construction crews working on a new bridge drove a steel casing cutting all three underground transmission lines to the area, knocking out power. Businesses say the damage is done. The crowds are gone. Every day that we're not open, that's $5,000 in sales that we're missing. Um, and of course, throwing the $3,000 of food away tomorrow when I finally get back in the restaurant will also be a, a problem. No word tonight on when the power will be fully restored, but business owners are worried. Because this is not a natural disaster. This is somebody's fault, and I hope they step up. Generators have been brought in, so residents are being allowed to return, but they are being asked to conserve energy. Tom? The timing couldn't be worse. All right, Eva, thank you.